I have three great tips on making your customers more loyal to you. Because we can say that we have the great products, we have great service, we can say that um, we are the best in the area, we have the most reviews, we can say, 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 say everything we want. But if we are trying to build customer loyalty, we may be not doing that at all. We may just be saying things and talking about how great we are, but until we act upon it uh, and do some things that I think are very crucial to uh, enhancing the customer experience, we won't get their loyalty. And loyalty is important because you, are, as a small business, uh, are not going to, or a salesperson who works for a company maybe, and you, you, you rely on sales, um, and you rely on customers, and for customers to keep wanting to buy from you. I, years ago, heard it said that people buy from people that they know, like, and trust. Most of us, I can't say most, many of us have heard that over the years. Don't know who the original author of that phrase was, but it is true. People buy from those that they know, like, and trust. Well, and part, part of that is building a, an experience for the customer that makes them want to be loyal to you over somebody else who offers the same products, made the same quality of products, maybe at a better price. So how could, what are the three things I'm thinking of? The three things are, one, provide exceptional, exceptional, exceptional customer service. If you've ever driven through any fast food joint of most, of most kinds or been in many businesses, it seems to be rare, becoming more rare to get a thank you for your business from the proprietor or from you know, the fast food person giving you your food at the, when you drive through or at the counter inside the, the restaurant. Whatever happened to that? My first job was at a fast food joint, was at a Dairy Queen back in 1978. And the older, she was old. She was in her upper 60s, moving into her 70s, and she died at 100. Um, but her name was Mrs. Wallace, and she always said, this is down south in Texas, thank you to the customers, and please come back and see us. And she required that of every one of us. So as a, yes, 14 and 15-year-old kid working illegally to help pay the rent you know, for my family, I was taught at that young age to say, thank you for, for your business. Please come and see us again. Think of Beverly Hillbillies. Y'all come back now here. We don't even get a thank you today. So the smallest part of, uh, of the customer experience is just to say, please and thank you. And I appreciate your business. Things like, I know you could have chosen someone else. I am honored that you chose us over them. And I'm going to give you the very best we possibly can. And I really want your loyalty. You can tell them that. But give them a customer service experience. If they have a concern or a question, be there promptly. After the sale, it's okay to make a phone call. How is everything? Why not? If you have time to sit around the water cooler and talk, like or stand around the water cooler and talk or whatever, hang out at your cubicle or at your desk, and check your social media, you certainly have time to get on the phone and not be afraid to ask that customer how everything went and be willing to accept the slings and arrows if things did not go well and the customer tells you they did not go well. That's a good thing that you made contact with that customer. The folks who are thrilled, they're going to come back to you. The folks who are not thrilled, might leave you a bad review, or or, may they, or, they, or they may not. That was really hard to say. They may just never buy from you ever again. If you don't know it, you can't fix it. That's part of providing the exceptional customer experience. A man years ago used to call it the wow factor. Give them the wow. Give them that reason that they want to call you again. They want to buy from you again because they know that the customer service experience you give is above and beyond anything else that they're going to get. Uh, the second point is personalization. Personalize the experience. Use their first name unless they're older than you by several years, in which case it's Mr. or Mrs. or whatever is appropriate in your culture, in your part of the country. Personalize it. If there's a way for you to personalize the experience in terms of the product that they receive, and that depends on the thousands and thousands and thousands of products and services that are out there, but find a way, if you know what you offer, find a way to personalize it in a special way. One way that you can 
personalize the service is with a thank you note, not just as far as how does your pers- this customer's personality fit the product or the service I'm providing, what have you, but you can say with a thank you note to their, to their, with their first name, handwrite it. Dear Susie, I sure appreciate you coming in today and giving us the opportunity to provide our best possible service. Please share the, your great experience with your family and friends, but if it was anything less than fantastic, I want to know. Here's my personal cell phone number or whatever you're allowed to give. But here's my information. Please let me know your thoughts. Thank you again. And we'll talk to you again soon. And put that in the mail. It doesn't need to be an email. It can be a personal, yes, lick it and stick it envelope with a stamp and send it to them. Handwritten. Not this Not this. looks like it was done by a pen or a hand in, this, in these programs. Handwrite it. <laughs> okay, make it real. Personalize it. And the other thing is, be consistent. Every time they come in to your store or utilize your service or buy your product, whether online or in person, whatever the case may be, whenever they utilize you and your service or your products, make it consistent because people need to know what to expect. And a consistently high quality product or service or customer service experience just gives them a comfort, gives them a sense of, you know what, I know what I'm getting. When I go in there, when I call him, when I order from his website, I know what to expect. It's a really good customer experience. The fast food establishment that, generally speaking, has seemingly seemingly about the most consistent process and product and customer service experience globally is McDonald's. Now, there are exceptions, of course. I've had good experiences and bad experiences at McDonald's. Most of us probably have. I've had a situation where they didn't say thank you at the window. That's what I was thinking about earlier. Um, But uh, at the same time, when you walk into McDonald's, whether it's in New York or California or Texas or or Taipei (laughs) or Britain somewhere or in South Africa, a Big Mac is a Big Mac is a Big Mac. The fries are the same. Almost everything you buy is the same from one store to the next, anywhere in the world, because they have consistency standards. The customer service thing, that can be a little bit different perhaps, but there's consistency. You know what to expect. You don't expect to walk in and and surprise, surprise. You know, you just know what to expect. So give your customers that level of consistency from you personally to them with the product or service or customer service experience that you provide. And those three things... There are many, many others, but those are the three that kind of came to my mind this morning are ways of building the loyalty from your customers because loyalty is important. It's difficult to build a business on every, if every experience is a one-off experience, a one-time shot, and they then go to somebody else. Make it such that they want to go to you, even if your prices are a bit higher. They, many people, the right customers, will pay a reasonably increased price over somebody else if the customer service experience is consistent, it's personable, you're likable, it's quality is there, uh, everything is right. They will pay a tad more and that'll help you build your loyalty among your customers and be more successful as an employee or as a business. Well, thanks for watching. I am Greg with Straight Talk and Job Tips. I hope you have a wonderful day. Please like, subscribe, subscribe, share, all the good stuff, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.